Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And we are kicking into spring. All you guys in the Tigers and Tigers is in the northeast. That snow's melting. You're finally going to see your roofs, the sidewalks. That's a beautiful thing. This is a quote by Richard Bach. To bring anything into your life, imagine that it's already there. No doubt. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up by 259. NASDAQ up 43. S&P's up 25. Gold contract up $1.20 trading at 1,151 an ounce. Silver up 17 cents at $15.84 and 54 cents an ounce. Platinum down three bucks at 1,117 an ounce. Copper up four and a half pennies at 267 a pound. Light sweet crude off a buck 11, trading at 47 dollars and six pennies a barrel. Bonds, the bond market, folks, wants to go south. This is a large change of trend, and it looks to me well. First off, the the 10 year and the 30 year are doing ABC structures on the way down. 10 year today closed up three ticks at 127.03. Couldn't hold higher price. Setting up another. It's a complex ABC structure on the way down. We already had broken the B point, but bottom line, bonds want to go south. 30 year, down four ticks, 153.13. And King Dollar, King Dollar is going to be the number out here. We're going to see where this wants to shake and bake. King Dollar, folks, uh, looks to me that we have finished the ABC structure on the way up. You hit 100.06 today. Uh, we came off that number intraday. We had a couple small downdrafts, nothing heavy. King Dollar ended up closing down 525 ticks at 99.26. Euro, Euro up 75 ticks at 106.22, and the yen down 13, trading at 10 at 121.33. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the spy. Let's take a look at it and see what we have out here, folks. So we had an expansion of price out here today. Um, the volume wasn't bad, okay? Um, well, no, the volume's light. The, the volume on the NYSE is light. You did 673 million. That's like not even close, okay? Uh, NASDAQ volume wasn't that bad because what the NASDAQ did do, NASDAQ did 1.8 billion, okay? So NASDAQ itself, they, that had little juice into it. Now, when we go through these ETF structures, however, what you're gonna see is that the ETF structures didn't have the juice in order to basically uh, get a real sustained bounce going. Uh, if we take a look at the SPY and we, we, we pull the SPY up, what you're going to see is this. The SPY came into the downdraft, that our first downdraft from last Friday. Uh, the SPY closed at 207.10. Oh, this is sick. Oh, my God. So check this out. If you were listening last hour, folks, okay? That's the test we were looking for. And, and the reason we were looking for that test is this. So when we came down on the 6th of March, you went from a price point of 209.94 down to 207.10. What markets love to do is this. They love to get into the bottom of downdrafts. If you, you're either going to you know, get above it and be a successful test, or you're going to get into it, reject it. We have lighter volume. You know, we're right at it. So when you're right at it, it's like, okay, man, you're going to wake up uh, a little bit higher tomorrow? Yeah, it can. Uh, what would have been really cool is that uh, if it had closed even a penny underneath it. When you're right at it, yeah, I can hit it. But bottom line, this is a, a B, my take is it a B to a C of a now a larger ABC structure on the way down. So your A point on this, if we take a look at the, the cash S&P, watch how this shakes out. You take the cash S&P, so your A point now is 21.17, and your B is uh, 2.039. So we're talking about 78 points of the A to B structure. The three Qs, we take a look at the three Qs and see where the three Qs ended up. Excuse me, folks. Three Qs were weaker than the S&P out here today, and that's really unusual because the three Qs were much stronger on the way up, all the way up. Uh, three Qs did 21 million shares. That is coming into uh, 34 million. That came down. Uh, see, 
The difference is that if the three Qs were as strong as the S&P, instead of closing at 105.80, you'd be closing up at 107.14. Now, different ball game, small caps. This is going to be wild watching the small caps shake out. This is why. The small caps today, uh, at about 3 o'clock, end up getting some real juice in them. Small caps, the IWM did volume out here of... Uh, Let's see, what do we, we did 38 million shares, big number. Uh, that is, but small caps are going to be going after the highs. They're going to go after those highs tomorrow. So this is going to be wild uh, watching how this baby uh, does shake out. Uh, there's some divergence out there, no doubt, but that's how that thing, uh, that thing wants to get up there and get into that uh, level. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? We need more price spread and accelerated volume in gold. What we, what we had out here this morning is this. Gold got to the, the price point, traded up into the 1165.70 area. Uh, we only needed that to stay over the 1162 area. That's, that's where we needed it to stay over. Uh, didn't do it. The 1162.90 is crucial, folks. Why? That's where we came down hard from 1200 to 1162 on the 6th, last Friday. So that, that's the number that you want to keep your eye on. If we go take a look at the silver contract, same type of setup in the silver contract. Silver, what, what is positive here, is looking stronger than gold. And the actual, the gold and silver equities look pretty good. Uh, they didn't uh, basically crack out here today. In fact, they just went sideways. They got over yesterday's high. They closed about at yesterday's highs. That's a decent setup. Bonds. We go take a look at the bond market. What we have with bonds are this. Bond market looks to me, folks, that we have a total change of trend. And it's going to be really wild if, in that, if that's the case. If we take a look at the TLT, the 20-year plus bond, what you're going to see is that it couldn't hold price out here today. We closed at 127.11. The structure itself had already broken a B point. The B point that it had broken was uh, on the 6th, last Friday. Monster volume on the break. We, we broke that B point, and you uh, broke that B point, let's see, with uh, 20 million shares. So you had some uh, real um, volume when we did break down there. No two ways about it. Uh, King Dollar. Now, let's look at King Dollar, because King Dollar, folks, okay, has been a driver in all the markets. That's the bottom line. So what do we have? King Dollar went to 99.97 yesterday. Straight line move. Today we go to 100.06. That 100.06 is A to B equals C to D. In fact, I'm gonna, at the break, I'm going to give you the exact number right to the uh, 100s. Um, then what we did is that intraday we came off that number. That the, it actually hit that number at 0400 this morning, I believe. So right there, 1320, yeah, one second, let me bring this back. Yeah, this she is right there. Yeah, so that was hit, no, actually, it was a hit, it was actually hit uh, right, at, uh, right at midnight last night. That was hit at midnight last night. Um, the high was hit at midnight last night. Uh, hit your first leg down to 98. 96. Now, what we have inside the, the dollar index is that you've gone into the low. No, you, you've gone down with a high volume spike. That high volume spike is going to get tested of the 9864. Uh, if we go take a look at the UUP so you can see this correlation, this is the uh, power share long dollar. If we put this up, you're going to see that's a beautiful ABC structure on the way up also. Uh, but what you're going to see is that this is structure is basically over. Um, so this is going to be interesting watching how this whole thing does shake out. After the close out here, U-T-U-L-T-A, um, Ultra, Ultra closed out, uh, let's see what she closed out, U-L-T-A, Ultra closed at uh, 144.82. That is trading right now at 154. That's up ten dollars. That's a big number. Nothing like selling the makeup. Uh, the comp sales beat 
The estimates, their, their comp sales are up 6 to 7%. The estimate was $1 billion. They took in $1.05 billion. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.